at this time, we have Preston Fox. Uh, questions for Preston, Greg? So, Preston, take us through the, the whole breakdown of a return. Start, I mean, you obviously or? had, you know, been very good at it for a long mm -hmm. time, but this past Saturday was extraordinary. So, w what goes into being a good returner? Do you mean punt return or kickoff yeah, well, return? Both. both. And I know they're separate issues, yeah. so tell us punt return first and then kickoff return. Okay. Punt return, it's all about confidence. I've talked about that in the past. Um, just taking as many reps as you can at it. Um, a lot of people aren't very good at it. It's just a skill set that I've had. And I've picked that up through baseball. And uh, playing baseball growing up, that's really helped me with punt return. And that's led into football. And then kickoff return. It's kind of just, uh, I'm not the fastest guy, but I can just go. Like, I don't think I just do. So when I see a hole, I just kind of hit it. And a lot of guys get scared and like hold back or cut, and you can't do that. You kind of just got to go full speed at it. So. so you have to be fearless? I mean, yes. Yeah. Oh, yeah, for sure. No People are running after you, you can't hesitate at all. Just watching the game, it just looked like you guys felt like there were some things that they did in the in their return game that you guys could take advantage of? What what were some of the things that you felt like going into the game? Yeah, we, we have an opportunity here. Well, yeah, um, I would say their kicker didn't play as well as he should have. I mean, he would kick a lot of them short, so we were taking advantage of that. And having uh, TD and tra uh, Traylon Davis and um, Jalen Anderson back there, they really paved the way for me to get up the hole, and it was wide open. All day long. So you noticed the hang time was issue too, not just yeah. distance, but oh, hang yeah, time. For sure. yeah. Being able to run up on it and just take off like from like the 10 or 15 yard line. Right. And wall right, that seemed to be what, what you hit the, on those? Yeah, to, just to the boundary. Right, to the boundary. Yeah. Okay. You said baseball helps you with punt returning. Those, are, those seem like two very different things. <laughs> yeah, like I played center field. So I guess tracking a baseball, I mean, that, that kind of led into football a little bit with looking up and having to see where it's going to end up. Yeah, but you don't have 11 guys running that shit in center field. <laughs> that is true. That is true. But is there, I guess, a lesson there that, you know, everybody looks at a game and they say, well, if you outgain them, you should win the game. But there are other ways that you can win football games mm -hmm. because every one of those returns put you guys in a good position offensively. Mm -hmm. Speak to that a little bit. Yeah, field position is a big part of it. Um, special teams is a key thing in football. And... If you beat the other team in field position, I mean, it's a better chance of you winning the game. And we didn't play well enough on offense. So, I mean, special teams and defense, they really took advantage of that. Did you feel like you were on the verge of breaking one? Like there was one oh, yeah. Was that <laughs> yeah. Mean, Honestly, the first it. return that I had, it was blocked perfectly. I just made the wrong cut. And it could have been better than the last one that I had. I was just. Sideline, were you? Was, was there something that could have let you break that? It looked like you were about to for a while, and then. Oh yeah, so someone came from the backside, yeah, yeah, and yeah. yeah. When you say wrong cut, should you have gone against the a grain, or did well, you? Well, I went left, and it was wide open to the right, so I just made a mistake on my part. Okay, gotta make that quickly. Yeah, that's yeah, a it's very fast. Like yeah, that. it closes quick. Right. How about on the kickoff return? I guess the punter got you. Yeah. You just ran out of. Uh, mm -hmm. was, ran out of room. Yeah. Yeah. I kind of just lowered my shoulder, and he was a bigger guy. <laughs> <laughs> how do you how do you feel health wise, even because you've it's been a story, kind of been banged up mm -hmm. most of the year, which isn't gonna let you do as much on offense that you would like. Yeah, I uh, so I partially tore my calf, and then strained my hamstring, and I've also had some back problems throughout this year. Um, I've kind of just battled back, and I just say that's all God's plan. Just let Him take control of my life, and whatever happens, happens, and I just got to finish strong. Decisions on returns. It, it didn't, you know, I mean, you said it was the wrong one, but is that just like a kind of, yeah, it was wrong when I look at it now, but on the field, I don't think you can always see, hey, yeah. this is the way it's going to be there. And like you said, you, you've just got to go. So it doesn't seem like it's always a mistake. Yeah. Just looking back at it, it was like, man, I just really missed that cut because they show us on the field because we have those iPads. And I was just like, dang, like it was wide open this way. I wish I would have gone this way instead of making that cut. But I mean, things happen and you just make it in that split decision. And sometimes it's wrong, sometimes it's right. Do you like having the tablets there? So you can see things like oh, that? Oh, yeah. Yeah. It helps big time. 
Who's decisions on fair catch and not the fair catch? I mean, you, there's a fine line there. So do you have a, a rule in your head or is it just a feel thing? It's just a feel thing. Mm -hmm. Just kind of got to make that my mind up last second. And sometimes I make the wrong decision as you guys have seen, but it is what it is. Was there anybody told, I mean, when you look at returners, uh, if you go sideways, you're no good. Yeah. You have to go forward. Mm -hmm. I mean, when did that, how did that, how was that, you know, I guess, driven home to you? Is that just instincts? Is that something that somebody told you, hey, listen, you can't be going this way. You've got to go that way. Yeah, usually, I mean, I've always, growing up, it's always go north and south. Um, with punt return, you kind of just got to make the first guy miss. You always have somebody in your face, whether it's the long snapper or the two gunners. You kind of just got to make the first quick move and then get vertical as fast as you can because some guys make the wrong decision going left and right, and that'll just get you nowhere. You kind of just got to get as many yards as you can. It's kind of counterintuitive, though, because you want to run away from the guys, yeah. but you almost have to run at them and then avoid them. Yeah, because you know, if you run at them, they'll just fly right by you because they're going so fast. You kind of right. just yeah. got to make the right decision on that. Like, like Frogger. You know the game Frogger? <laughs> yeah. 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 Hey, Preston, they, uh, Cincinnati has the best starting field position on defense, oh. I think, in the country. I'm mm -hmm. guessing that came up during the week. Um, how much of a goal was it then to, to flip that and make that defense actually work on shorter fields not make it easy on them. Yeah, it's just, it was a big goal. I mean, in my mind, it's just try to get as much yards, as many yards as I can on special, through special teams. And I mean, we had the most opportunity for that in the game. Um, not a lot of games you get short punts or enough chances to take one. And that game, we had a lot of chances. So took advantage of that. And then the, the one to the penalty on the guy that came too close, mm -hmm. do, you, do you know? Like when a penalty is a penalty there, or oh you, yeah, because like, right, I wonder because you never know. I mean, I never know. Sometimes they're going to yeah. get the flag up or not. You seem pretty confident. That that was obvious, but yeah. does that play into your mind at all? On all right, if if I do catch this, they're going to call the flag. Can you even think of that? Yeah, I just I mean, in the Arizona game, I had one. He kind of ran into me, and I should have like honestly kind of flopped a little bit. But <laughs> um, in this past game, I fair caught it, and when I went to go catch it, he kind of like ran into me, and that forced me to drop the ball. But, I mean, I don't really try to think about it too much when they're running at me. I just kind of do my job, be confident in it. Preston, do you study other punt returners? Do you watch NFL returners and things like that? Oh, yeah. yeah. And, and what, can, what can you learn from that? For, for, for example, I'm sure you watched Taylon, mm -hmm. but he's got a, probably a different skill set <laughs> yeah, than you have. I mean, uh, how, how do you handle that as far as learning? Well, Ryan Switzer came in for like a week, I think it was last year, and he like taught me a lot of different things that I can do, like always keep my eye on the ball, like all the way to the tuck and see it all the way in. Because sometimes you get so caught up in everybody running at you, you don't really think of that. You kind of just catch and run. But like seeing it all the way in gives you a better chance of catching it. So just small things you learn from these guys. And guys in the NFL, they're always catching really high punts and stuff. and not really having people in their face as much as college, so they have more room to run. I would say that's a big difference. They taught you in baseball to keep your eye on the ball. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> definitely. Like, I've never had to do it, and God help anyone, they would never want me to do it, <laughs> but uh, how tough is it to track such a small object against such a big space, especially if the sun's in your eyes or, mm -hmm. or whatever else? How, like, both tracking baseballs, tracking footballs, how tough is that to do? It's very hard, I mean. It's, it's, it's definitely a skill set you have to have to be able to do it, for sure. How do you get better at it? How do you, how do you learn? Like, what, what things do you do to kind of learn to go, okay, to where you can, can find that little, little mm -hmm. speck in yeah. that big expanse? So, like, for football, for instance, like, when it's coming down to the left, like, and it's turned over a little bit, it's going to come down this way. Mm -hmm. So you have to, like, I kind of just get in my position where I'm going to see it come down this way. And if it's the other way, it's going to come down that way. And then you can see, like, when it's going to turn. Like, I, I just have gotten so many reps, like, it's kind of just easy for me now to be able to see where it's going to go. Now, Ollie, on the other hand, he's given me the best practice because his move's all over the place. Like, the Australian punters really give me a hard time. But, I mean, I've got plenty of practice at it with Ollie, so. I mean, that's just really, I guess, what it is then. It's like you just have to do it enough yeah. to where you fought, you do recognize every scenario. Yep, taking reps, for yeah. sure. So catching that knuckleball is... Oh, yeah, that's you. the roughest one, mm -hmm. for sure. Yeah. 
obviously special teams was a, was a major part of it, but just from your vantage point, what do you think was some of the issues on the offensive side of the ball? Yeah, we just didn't play to tier. Um, we weren't completing passes, and honestly, we should have done a lot better than what we had, and we didn't get as many um, chances as we should have. We only had like 40-something plays on offense, so I mean, that takes a big toll, but we need to take advantage of the plays that we do get, and do better with that. Can thread in these three-man fronts? I mean, you had some issues with Iowa State. You had some issues with Kansas State. Mm -hmm. um, the, the Cincinnati a little bit. And then these guys this, this week have an odd front. Are there any things in there that you see a commonality? Other than the fact that they play an odd front? No, not really. I don't know. It doesn't really change my, my job and my position, to be honest. Have you seen a lot of drop eight? Uh, they show and run. They're yeah. dropping back. And... Nico's got to look at all these jerseys. Have you seen some of that? Maybe? Yeah, the last couple of games we've had a lot of like zone coverages, um, a lot of third downs, uh, man. But, I mean, we just needed to take it more advantage of that when we had our chance. We didn't do a very good job. Okay. Thank you very much. Perfect.